Hi everyone, I'm Kavian from the North Shreveport branch of the Shreve Memorial Library System, and this month is Women's History Month, so I thought I would give you guys some amazing nonfiction women's history books to get you through this amazing month. So these are all YA books, by the way, so teen oriented. The first one is The Factory Girls. It's about four girls who worked and lived through the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. If you've never heard about that, it's a really interesting, macabre piece of history. This huge fire broke out at this factory for a company called the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory where they made um, clothing. I don't actually know what a shirtwaist is, but they were making them and they somehow caught fire. It was this huge incident and this book goes in depth about um, the experiences of four girls who actually lived with it. So even if you're not that interested in women's history, which you should be, but you're interested in like bizarre macabre disasters, this is definitely going to be an interesting book. Um, the Factory Girls, we have a copy here at North Shreve, so definitely check it out. Okay, the next one is called Rising Above, Inspiring Women in Sports. Uh, I think the title says it all along with the pictures. It's got um, some sports history focusing on women and women who just defied the odds and became the greatest in their fields. We're thinking like Venus and Serena Williams types. I mean, they're on the cover. She's on the cover. <laughs> so, and also um, some other amazing athletes. If you're a sports girl or just interested in women's sports or sports in general, check it out. Super inspiring. Okay. Okay, next one is called Yes She Can. It's 10 different tales of young women who worked as staffers under the Obama administration. All girls who were just teenagers when uh, Obama announced he was running for president and then ended up working like in the White House on his staff, which is super amazing to me just to actually, like you can read the words of people who were working with the President of the United States, literally helping the world function. And they're all young women and it's like, can you be more inspiring? You know, can you read something more inspiring? Look at them. I'm, I'm inspired just looking at that. So, yes she can. 10 stories of Obama staffers. We've got it here at North Street. Check it out. Um, double entendre intended. Okay, this last one is absolutely my favorite. It's called Underneath It All, and it's a history of women's underwear. Um, it's, it's kind of a niche topic women's underwear specifically, but you know, underwear is important. Underwear has history as well, and so do women, women's underwear. And it goes in depth about like pop stars, like Madonna and the history of how they kind of made underwear more like culturally acceptable to be seen and known of outside just like the private quarters. And it goes even farther back than that, like women throughout history, like what did undergarments look like? Weird stuff like this has always been fascinating to me, so. If you're even just slightly curious, like, look at that. Look at that big hoop. What is that? <laughs> but if you're even slightly, like, curious about maybe where, you know, brassieres and underwear came from for women, definitely check this out. Underneath it all, gorgeous cover as well. It's my favorite book from this collection, but. We've got tons of other books at our library and all of the Shreve Memorial libraries about women, women's biographies, women's history. These are just a couple YA books, but if you're interested in any of these or any women's history books at all, call up your local library, come visit us, and we will definitely hook you up. But until then, happy Women's History Month, and keep learning all the time, you guys.